here. Um, today we'll discuss about API gateway and how to create an API gateway uh, using Terraform. So what exactly is API gateway and why do we need API gateway? So in general, uh, any monolithic applications, if we go back or like see our legacy applications, what happens in general is like, we have these app servers and databases and whenever a user tries to access, whenever we are like, let's say you're going to internet and then trying to access any of these applications. So it has to go through um, the load balancer and then, you know, um, uh, reach out to specific app server and that reaches to the database server. There might be a couple of other caching layers here um, Some other secure services here But what's exactly happening when we are moving to the more uh, from monolithic architecture to the microservices based? Um, so instead of like one or two VMs here like one of two, one or two app servers we are having like a lot of different small microservices and all of these microservices, um, we need the same load balancing. We need um, other secure resources. Like I think in the last video, like we discussed about WAF. So adding those extra secure features and load balancing here. So we need we are adding so many layers here, and then that that will obviously create more latency and confusion. And it's also not just going into one or two app servers. Now it's more, it's all about so many clusters and you know uh, functions. Um, like Martin explained even the gates function um, so the gates cluster is you if uh, that specific load balancer has to reach out to that gates cluster it's taking it might just improve the increase the latency so here comes the API gateway so what could API gateway do so it's up to a developer to decide on what API gateway should handle um, should it just handle validation should it just handle authentication should it handle the throttling or maybe even routing to the specific um, you know service or maybe even filtering things so all of these are uh, taken care by the api gateway so it's up to you to decide on which uh, part of these resources or which part of these functions should your api um, deal with uh, let's go ahead and then create an api gateway um, and see how it would look like on the cloud and uh, what could we do um, there so this is the terraform file which i have uh, so i am looking at uh, an api uh, service here which says the test gateway um, and i have the compartment id endpoint and the submit id which are um, um, like required and other things are optional so we can choose to use all the functions or some of those functions uh, the best thing about uh, api gateway is like it has the inbuilt um, functionality to uh, secure or you know uh, get that layer um, on top of any of the functions or, or a specific kubernetes service so you can configure all of these things in the terraform file so this is available on github again uh, you can go ahead and then configure uh, so i'll go back to my console and then i will apply my terraform value i am looking at my test function here and if I go ahead, it asks for me to confirm. I say yes. And then, so once it's, uh, you can see that the, my test gateway is being created and using the test function, which I do not have now. Um, let's go ahead to our console. And then, so you could, you could see there that my test gateway is being created. Uh, you could see there. So if I click on the test gateway, so it's still creating what you could see there are all the metrics that are available so you could change the start and ending times for all of those things um, and then go back so you could see api request response um, and the, you know the number of bytes received and even the latencies so it's basically giving you all um, the metrics that you require in terms of how your api itself is being performed so my uh, gateway is live now so what i'll do is i'll go to the deployments and then create a deployment Create the deployment we can go ahead and then um, click on that and then see uh, what you could do so all of these things these deployments which um, are being done from terraform again so i just came here to show the options that are uh, available so while creating a specific deployment option api gateway will not give you the api specifically it just uh, gives one layer before api where you could uh, use you know security or authentication um, load balancing all of these options which you generally um, require or, or planning to use 
So for example, in my case, uh, let's assume I'm using uh, you know, an API, API um, in, uh, at this point I'm looking at API, uh, which is also available from Oracle Cloud Service to manage your APIs. So whatever I'm looking at here is a specific API with the polls. So let me see. So this API will give, so if I, uh, you know, using a Postman or a browser, if I go ahead and then, you know, look for um, get this uh, request what I am doing is basically getting all the questions uh, my favorite you know uh, languages for these questions so I'm getting all of these JSON data um, and this is from uh, served from a service which could be a function or Kubernetes or even a VM so this should be uh, secured or being um, you know controlled um, from that starting point which API uh, deployment could do so what I'll do is I'll go here uh, to create the deployment and then uh, you could either do from scratch or you could upload using uh, an existing API so which you could also use Terraform for the same thing so here you could um, add all of these policies so this policy management being done from uh, the API gateway so you could add uh, your authentication uh, you know the authentication token here or the token value if you could you could add uh, the course if you want to prevent or even if you want to give the access or if you want to limit the number of API hits um, for example uh, if you want only 10 uh, API hits per day and you can also at the same time um, get these configuration for logs so all of these deployment is being um, done by the you know uh, API gateway you could use again um, the platform um, the console or you could uh, choose to use your own um, Terraform script for the same thing which I showed so that's about the API gateway um, the next video is like what we could explore more is in terms of um, the backend itself so today we see we have seen like how to secure that um, API created from the backend um, which could be any of these services um, in previous videos Martin explained how to um, you know spin up Kubernetes clusters um, in the coming videos we'll explore how to use the functions um, and uh, set up those functions from here or maybe uh, even use the API platform services on uh, Oracle Cloud like API and we could use uh, we could see how you know like using these uh, dashboard and other options um, in, in the next videos thank you